guys, it's Lily LPS here, and today's video is my My Little Pony collection. This is my collection as of July 2020. Also, in no way I'm trying to brag, I just like watching these type of videos of like people's collections, so I think it might be fun for you guys to watch. I started collecting My Little Ponies when I was around five, maybe even younger. I've been an on and off collector since then. I started collecting again when I was about nine in 2015, and I started collecting again last year because I love these ponies. Let's get started with the video. Here I have two Twilights, two Cadences, and one Luna. Like most people, I'm not a huge fan of the tinsel here. It's kind of just a bit messy, I would say. It looks nicer without the tinsel here. Like this cadence versus this one. I was so excited when I got this Luna because Luna is my favorite character. Since I was about like six, she was my favorite character. Like, I even have this Luna over here I got when I was like nine. <laughs> I'm aware that this Cadence Crown isn't the real one. I lost it somewhere, so I just replaced it with that one. The original ones I had before I started buying them online are this one, this one, and this one. I bought this one from a market for like 50 cents, and this one from my haul video, if you'd like to watch that video of where I unboxed this Luna, there'll be an eye in the corner. Here are all my big alicorns. This one is a fake, I am aware, but I still like it. Like, Chrysalis is a cool character, so I may as well, if I have the fake ones, use them if I don't have the authentic one. The original ones I had out of this set that I didn't buy online was only this Celestia, and I got this Celestia in the same haul video that I was mentioning with Luna. Here I have Princess Sterling, one of the alicorns, and I got this one for a market for like a dollar. Yeah, I found these good deals. <laughs> I really like this Celestia the most because it's more accurate to the TV show Friendship is Magic, which I'm still sad that it's over. If you'd like me to make a video about my thoughts on the TV show, like the final season, let me know because I would happily do one of those videos. So those are all my big eloquence. Next to the main five, I just have a lot of them, so I'll be breaking down by character. Here are all my twilights. I have this one, which is an alicorn twilight, this one, which is just a unicorn, and another one, which is a unicorn, but these two are the older versions. Like, I'm pretty sure this one was the original version. I could be wrong. This one's the twilight I had in my original collection. These two I bought from Markets. This one's from the Cutie Mark Magic set. You can tell with the eyes which ones are the newer and older ponies because as they went on with like the newer generation ponies, they changed the eyes a bit. I would like to get one that was like this but with the alicorn wings, but I have not got that one yet. I, I don't know if she was even my favorite character. Like I like her character because she is the main character in the TV show, but yeah, maybe in like top three of the main six. Here are the two rainbow dashes I own. This one I had in my original collection, but this one I got from a market as well for like 50 cents. This is the older version, as you can tell from the eye style, and this one is the newer version from, from the Crystal Empire sets because you can tell from like the little shape in the eye. I'm hoping to get another double up so I can cut the hair to be more accurate to the character's hairstyle. But I'm yet to do that since I don't want to ruin the hair and I've only got like these two but these are two different types so I didn't want to like ruin one of them. Rainbow Dash is one of my favorite characters. I'm pretty sure it goes Fluttershy, Rainbow Dash, and then Twilight. But then there's Pinkie Pie as well. Like I'm pretty sure maybe top four if I can do that. I just love all the main six. Here are my two Pinkie Pie. This one I had in my original collection and this one I got from a market as well. It is from the Cutie Mark Magic series, as you can tell from the bright hair and the cool designs on it. And this one is one of the older ones, like 2008 series I believe, because I remember getting this when I was like five from the mall and I saved up like enough money to get it and I was just so excited because I loved My Little Pony at the time. I do style this one's hair to be curly, but it just goes straight really quickly. The next one I have is Rarity. I only have one Rarity and I did have this one in my original collection. The hair is a bit messy but I can always fix that up another time. And it's still in pretty good condition after having this pony for around like 10 years. It was actually my twin sister's favourite character when we watched Friendship is Magic together when we were younger. 
Next is Fluttershy. I'm pretty sure she is one of the most popular characters. She's definitely my favourite character from the series because I feel like I'm somewhat similar to her. I feel like I'm a mix between Rainbow Dash and Fluttershy. I really like the design of Fluttershy because the colours go really nice together. The green and the pink because like close to being complementary colours. And the yellow because yellow is my favourite colour if you didn't know. She's just a really happy colourful pony. Here are all the main six ponies that I have. But wait, we could not forget about one character. Spike the Dragon. Gotta have him in this. Next up we have Unicorns. Sunset Shimmer, I actually did a video on my old My Little Pony channel. Yes, I had an old My Little Pony channel. Unboxing this pony. I don't know if it's still up. If I do find it, I'll put a link in the description if you wanna watch me unboxing this because I got this pony in about 2015. So quite a while ago when they still had ponies in stores at like the supermarkets and things. Next we have Starlight Glimmer, another one of my top favourite characters. I swear I have so many favourite characters, I just really like her personality on the TV show and in character development, as well as the design, like the hair and the colours. She kind of reminds me of Madeline Hatter from Ever After High. I remember when I was like 9 I used to love that show. I had the dolls and everything but I sold them quite a few years ago. Here I have Sea Swell. Her hair is a bit frizzy. I really like the pearlized pony sets because they're really pretty and I just love the sparkles and the, and the hair just goes really well with it. Like the overall colour scheme and everything about this pony is just so pretty. The next one we have is Rainbow Flash. I got her at a market. I got her for about a dollar and it was such a good find because I really wanted to get her because I believe she's somewhat rare and I love the rainbow mane and just how colourful she is. Yeah, she's definitely one of my favourite designs of the ponies. I like how the eyes are half purple and half blue and make her a bit more unique. And lastly we have Snowcatcher. Her mane is really frizzy because I plaited her mane like five years ago and it was really... And then I took it out maybe like a year ago and it's just really frizzy and I can't really do much about it so I put it in a ponytail but I really like this one. I remember getting this pony when I was younger and she was just my favourite one at the time. I always used to play with this one. And these are all my ponies that are unicorns that aren't part of the main six. Here are all my earth ponies that aren't part of the main six range. So I'm going to start off with showing you guys some of my favourite ponies out of these. Here we have Honey Buzz. I wanted Honey Buzz for the longest time, but I finally got her for my birthday this year. I love the colour combination. Another one that I was so happy about getting was the original Daisy Dreams because I only ever had the Glimmer Wings one, which, I, which I'll be showing you soon. And I was so happy with the condition of the mane, like it's such, like it's in such good condition it's considering this pony was made in around 2008 and I love the fringe and everything. And one reason that I really wanted Daisy Dreams was because my old My Little Pony channel was called Daisy Dreams Productions and I made videos around 2015. I used the Glimmer Wings pony and always wanted this one. Another favourite of mine is Stasbo! If you haven't watched my video I made around a year ago from some of the ponies I found at markets. I found two Star Swells. Some say that she is the rarest pony out of all of them and I just find it crazy that I have two of them and she's the rarest pony out of all of them. I will probably be trading or selling this one since I want someone else to be able to have this one because she's so rare and I only really need one but the main condition is really good and Another favourite of mine is Bon Bon. Her hair is a bit funky right now. I love the cream colour because it's not its not basic because lots of the ponies are like solid basic colours but this isn't white or yellow, it's cream which makes it more interesting. Another pony I have is Cherry Berry. She's actually a part of the Liliopia studio. She's the head technician at the Liliopia studio and I gave her some glasses and she's part of the Pearlized Pony series. Two more that I have are Charlie. 
Here I have two cheerilies. I got this one at a market and I got this one a part of part of a bulk I got for my birthday. So I really like these ponies. I was happy to get the original cheerilie because I had the cutie mark magic one. And they're very different, which is quite crazy because it's the same character, but they're like they look like two different ponies because of the different shades used. Here I have Pink Purse. She is kind of an underrated pony, I would say. She is quite simple, but I still like her. I used her in my most recent MLP skit, Butterfly Babysitter. Next I have Mrs. Cake. I love the different mix of colors in the main and how her expression isn't too basic. It's like, it gives her more of an interesting and unique kind of character. Here we have Honey Buzz. I really, so those were all my Earth ponies. Here I have all my Pegasus that aren't part of the main six. Here I have Lily Blossom. I was so excited to get her when I did because one, her name's Lily Blossom. I love blossoms and my name's Lily. So that was pretty cool to get this one. And everyone had her. She was kind of like a common pony. So it was cool to have her as well. I actually got this pony for my birthday, which was cool. Next we have Meadow Flower. I love sunflowers everything to do with sunflowers i love yellow i love sunflower volume 6 by harry styles i love dodie's album cover with sunflowers i love the song sunflower by post malone and i like flowers so if that isn't convincing enough i don't know what is it also kind of looks like me because i have blonde hair and well i don't have blue eyes but somewhat similar Next we have Flower Wishes. There are so many Pegasus that are flower themed. I love it. I remember unboxing this one. I got it at like... My cat. I remember I got this pony from the supermarket and I unboxed it on my channel that I need to find. Like I tried to find it ages ago but I will be on a mission to find it. Next we have Feather Me. This was actually a pony that my twin sister got for her birthday when she was like six. So we shared a collection of ponies and toys and things. Body and the head slightly different colours. The next pony is Sunny Rays. I love Sunny Rays. She was my mascot for pony videos on this channel before I made customs and things. And I love yellow if you didn't know, if I haven't mentioned it 27 times in this video. She was actually the first pony I got. When I started getting into ponies again last year. So that's a fun fact. Next we have Sky Wishes. This is the Cutie Mark Magic version of Sky Wishes. Next we have the original Sky Wishes. I got her for a market for like 15 cents which was a pretty good deal because I love a good bargain. Well those are all my Pegasus. Next I have all my Glimmer Wings ponies. I love these ponies so much. The Glimmer Wings episode in Friendship is Magic was a really cool episode. I enjoyed it when I watched it. So I automatically love these ponies anyway. To start off with here we have Daisy Dreams and she came with this butterfly also known as Wispies I believe and these wings. I love them. They're so sparkly and pretty and fun. I feel like Daisy Dreams is just a really popular pony, like lots of people like her. I just think this was a really awesome idea of Hasbro's to, to make these into G4 ponies. Next we have Plumet, the one that my sister got because it was pink and she loved pink at the time. It's still in pretty good condition, the mane's kind of a little bit funky but it's okay. I really like how they changed the different wings, like this is more peacock themed because she came with a peacock. Next we have Rarity. Her and Rainbow Dash were the characters on the episode that the Glimmer Wing. And yeah, it's just a regular rarity with these awesome wings. And then we have Rainbow Dash. It's the older style version of Rainbow Dash with the different kind of eyes. And she has different kind of wings compared to the other ponies. This is the one that I got too. She was my favorite main sex character when I was little. On to the next ponies. Here are all the G4 foils I have. So here we have Twirly Treats. I love the like lolly sweet treat vibes. Then we have Sweetie Belle. I love her little fringe and how it's like purple here and then pink down there. As well as her simple design. Then we have Apple Bloom. Lastly we have Scootaloo. The little wings. Oh, so cute. In my opinion, I really liked her character. It was a pretty cool one. So those were all my foils. Thank you guys so much for watching this collection video, I hope you enjoyed it, and in total a lot, my original collection was like 30 or 20 ponies, so 
I'll see you guys in the next video.